All right, we're gonna keep talking about shapes, all righty? Now, this time, you're gonna find your assignment in your new bag, in the bag that you picked up yesterday. So in your new bag, there's kind of a little folder. It's purple, so find that purple folder. And inside, you're gonna see a bunch of Valentine's Day things. We're gonna use most of these tomorrow, okay? But I want you to find a little packet that looks like this. Alrighty, find me a packet that looks like this. And take it out. In this packet, we're going to be making a couple of 3D shapes. We're going to be building our own 3D shapes. Alrighty, so we are going to first fill out the information for our packet. And I'm going to pull up that picture that I have showed you. Uh oh, where did it go? Here it is. Nope, that's not it. Here we are. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and pull that page up and we're going to fill in our information. Okay. So this is going to be the pic this is going to be a cone that we're going to build. So if you look at our little information sheet, right here is a cone. So for shape, we're going to write cone. C O N E, cone. A cone has one vertex and it has one edge and it has two faces. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next shape. All right, make sure you got all that info. One vertex, one edge, two faces. Now this one's going to be a cylinder. So it's going to look like this. So we're going to write the shape. Ooh, let's see if we can fit it in here. Cylinder. Barely fit in there. The cylinder has zero vertices. It has two edges and it has three faces. Remember, faces are like the sides. And then you can put your name down here. This is the cylinder. Okay, let's go to our next shape. This is a cube. This is a cube, so we're gonna write cube. Our cube has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Our cube has eight vertices, so the points where two lines meet, it has eight of those. It has six faces and eight edges. Okay, let's go to our last one. Our last one is a pyramid. So it's gonna look like this one. All right, let me move myself up. It's gonna look like this one. So our pyramid, we're gonna write our name here in the middle. The shape is a pyramid. Pyramid. Our pyramid has five vertices. It has five vertices. It has five faces. So I'm gonna turn my paper around. It has five faces. And it has eight edges. 
Okay, so we started with our name or the shape of the name of the shape. Five vertices, five faces, and eight edges. Okay, guys, now when you're done with that information, you're going to color all of your shapes. Okay? I'm not going to color them because I don't have time, but I want you to color all of your shapes. And then this is the part where you might want to ask a grown-up for help. So you can tear them out so it's easier to cut. We're going to cut this shape, but we're going to cut all the way around these dark spots, okay? We want to make sure not to leave out these dark spots because then we won't be able to form our shape. I'm just going to show you how to make one of them. And then I think for this part, I want you to try it on your own first. But if it gets too hard for you, then you might want to ask the grown-up for a little bit of help when it's time to glue it together. Okay? So you guys can do all the cutting. Take your time. I don't want you to cut fast. You see right here? I'm going to cut so that it's all together. I don't want to cut this straight like that. I want to keep that circle attached. So I'm just going to cut around and I'm going to cut all the way around and around. So this is going to take you some time. If you get tired, take a little break from cutting. But I want you to cut all the way around your shapes. Okay, don't cut these black parts. It's going to be hard. Cutting these parts means you have to be very careful and very patient. So I'm going to cut all the way around. If you make a mistake, you can attach the part with your tape that I put in your bag. So you take a little piece of tape and you tape it back together. Okay? So this is going to take you some time again. Alrighty. I'm going to cut, cut, cut. Watch me cut first before you cut yours so you could see what it should look like. Okay. All right, here I have my shape. You see how my circle is attached? I didn't cut it all the way through. It's still there with my paper. So now I'm going to fold. I'm going to turn my paper over and I'm going to fold all these little pieces in. I'm going to fold them in. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Oh my goodness. And then I'm going to fold these little parts in. One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to make my cone. I'm going to take my glue. And I'm going to put a little dot of glue on the dark pot parts. Just a little dot of glue. Like that. And then I'm going to take my cone and we're going to wrap it around and I'm going to glue. This is the part where you're going to need help from a grown up, okay? Because it's a little tricky. So we're going to glue all the way around and we have to press, press, press a little bit. I have to hold it for a little bit because it's not going to stick if I let it go. Okay, so here I have my cone. Uh-oh, you see I need to put more glue because it's not staying. 
more glue, 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 glue. And then we're gonna put glue on these little guys also. Guys, have some have a grown-up help you with this, please. Okay. And then we're gonna glue it in like that. And ta-da! Uh-oh. You see, even Miss Cortez is having a hard time with it. All right, I'm gonna try my best here. Just leave it sitting like that. <laughs> da da! You have your cone. <laughs> so this is your 3D shape, your cone, and then you're gonna do that with your other shapes also, okay? 